says, what's up? Let's make some more videos. Tonight. It's a crazy night. We're still doing this. I think we're on like video four now. Uh, and uh, the kids are still asleep. I'm still so lonely. Just kidding. Let's do this. Um, we're going to do another video about CodeKit just while we're on a roll. I want to show you how variables are done. And uh, and here we are looking at the screen. Here's the home page. We've talked about imports. Let's look at variables. Uh, okay, so you do it with a dollar equals and then later on you do it. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, so what I'm doing is I have, this is a cool trick to use with variables. I have an unordered, unordered list. This is the output. Okay, here's how I have my document set up and we can just talk about that first. Uh, I have a vars.kit, which as we know, CodeKit, oh, CodeKit's not even running. I dropped it in there. Set output path. Okay, so vars.kit is outputting to vars.html. Style.sass is outputting to style.css. Inside of my header, my head tags, I have a style linking to the CSS, not the sass. Okay, so what do I want to do? Okay, I want to style a big long list of things, like a table or something, and it's so cumbersome to often uh, write out the whole uh, list by hand. So I'm going to tuck all those in a style, but first I'm going to style this, tuck all those into a variable. But first I'm going to style this first entry of a list. Do you guys know this YouTube character, uh, Oliver Age 24? Uh, he is hilarious. I recommend copy image. I recommend you go to his uh, channel. He like draws funny things and he talks with a British accent, so it can't be so bad. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is make an image tag with his avatar. And then I'm going to write H2 and get his name. And where's kit go? Close my H2. And then after that, uh, maybe his subscriber count. I thought you guys might want like to follow along as I like actually build the first thing. Usually I just skip so fast over that because, like I explained in my last video, I get nervous that you guys just think the coding that I'm doing is boring. But you know, it's a crazy night, and magical things can happen. Is this mic on? I get so nervous about that. Magical things could happen. So I'm making you guys watch me code, which is the purpose of this channel. Yet yeah, I've done so little of it so far. Oh, here we are. Uh, div class text container and um, oh, I lost his subscribe. Four thousand subs. Well, that's pretty good. Let's see how many videos does he have. He doesn't do a count on YouTube. Oh, we'll make it up. Maybe he has. I don't know. We'll just make it up. Another span. Sixty-three videos. Um, okay, let's take a look at what we've got. Um, we have his avatar, his name, his channel, his, how many subs, and how many videos here. 
Now I want to style a list of like a lot of these different ones, but I'm just styling for now, right now, so I don't have to have actually accurate data in there. So let me go ahead and just style this first um, entry. Uh, I'm going to my style.sass. First thing I'm going to do is just do a quick reset. Uh, the asterisk, as you remember, it selects everything. And I'm going to say margin zero and padding zero. And then I'm going to go to my body and background. I'm going to make it light blue. Now CodeKit is refreshing my browser alive as we as we go through this, which is pretty, pretty cool. Can't get any smaller than that. Okay. Um, I'm going to take the UL and do style. This style. None. Okay. And then, actually, for the UL, I want to make it smaller and center it. So, width. We'll say it's going to be 800 pixels and margin. This is the centering of a thing trick. If you make them, if you define its width and then say its margin of the left and right is auto, uh, then it will be centered in the page. So watch, I'll say 50 pixels on top and bottom, and then auto for the, it'll center it. 50 pixels. So if I make this 700, you can see that it's it's centered. And let me give the UL the LI. I don't need to nest these because there's only one LI that's even going to be on, or there's going to be one type of LI that's on the page at all, so I don't need to nest them. But I, I could easily do that in SAS. Um, I want to make the background white. And background white. And, um, Adding 10 pixels and border radius 5 pixels. Now it's cute. So you add, you round those borders and then it becomes cute. That's just true. It's just good design, cute stuff. So let's take his the image there and make that cute too. Border radius 50%. That'll make it to circle. That's cool. And we want to say uh, width Ooh, that's really small. Why is that? That's 20 pixels? I was expecting it to be much bigger because I don't know what pixels are. No, I was expecting it to be bigger because this screen um, that I'm coding on is like low resolution, blown up really big so you guys can see closely what I'm doing. I'm trying to get that right. I know my last few videos, maybe that, you know, everything was too small, but anyway. 30 pixels here, and then I'm going to take that, uh, what is it called, text, some container, and load that left. Um, here's a cool thing with CodeKit. Um, a really, really good um, mix-in library is included with it, so I can write at, at the top, include bourbon oops B O U R B O N import import okay now this is cool check it out um see that little icon changed watch Anyway, that little icon that looks like a little little drinking glass, that's the that's Bourbon's icon. Bourbon is a mix-in library that 
code kit like has built into it. Bourbon's a real thing that you could use without CodeKit, but CodeKit makes it easy to apply. All I have to go is the top of my main SAS and import bourbon. You know, so instead of saying height and width right there, I can just do size 30. I don't need that. And look, see where it says, I'm like pointing at the screen. Look, uh, where it says uh, size 30. If I go to the actual output style, it's going to be height and width 30. That's a fun mix in. Okay, anyway, what was I talking about? Float left. Oh, the reason I wanted to put it bourbon in there is because I wanted to add this mix in to add clear fix. Do you see how these text here was sticking out of my uh, li box? That's because I uh, floated it left. In um, parent containers, will will wrap up um, inside. Or how do you say this? It'll jump up to it. It'll, the parent container will act as if the effects of that floated container are not is not even there, uh, which makes sense when you think about it. But sometimes it's inconvenient. So if I put a clear fix on the bottom of the parent container, clear fix adds. A, uh, an invisible element below everything, um, which will make the parent wrap around. Oops, which will make that parent wrap around a floated element. Watch, all of your age 24 is sticking out, and now it's not. That's because I did a clear fix, and that was a, a mix-in that's part of bourbon, a la sass. So exciting. Hope I'm not going too long. So uh, okay, I'm like I feel like I have to go fast, but here we are. Um, also, uh, font sans. Just because it's cooler. Font family. There we go. Uh, if I take that text container, see how it's? I want it to float left, but it's still not. It's still not um, going on the side of the image there. If I take a margin left and make it, what did I make the icon, 30? 30 pixels. 40. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, maybe I should float the image left? There we are. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> don't need that margin. No, but I do. But not for the reason I thought. I don't need the margin to get around the image, I just need the margin to get that text away from the image. So margin left maybe 10 pixels. And also I feel like I need that image does need to be bigger. Make it 50 pixels. Maybe 45. See how fast it is to change the dimension of the width and height of that icon using that mix-in instead of having to change two declarations, I'm just changing this one mix in and it's outputting quickly and easily for me. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. So let's take these spans that we have here inside the text container and do some margin bright. I don't expect this to work. Uh, 10 pixels. Oh, it did work. Never mind. Ah, see, I don't know what I'm talking about. And so the color to 999. That's much nicer. If I had an icon font, I'd throw like a little subscriber icon or something on there. Anyway, this looks pretty fun, whatever. What I wanted to show you with this whole video, but styling was not even part of the video. What I wanted to show you is how we can take uh, this li as a repeating element and throw it in a variable with kit and, um, and styled a lot of them. Actually, I should have just done it first. <laughs> And then styled it. <laughs> uh, anyway, you want, I want to see. I want to see what it's like to have a bunch of these elements here. So I'm gonna go in here and start a, a variable. So I remember it was dollar sign li equals, and then 
I hope this works. And dollar sign. No. Bang dash dash dollar sign li. Bang dash dash bang. And it should there should only be one there. Okay, cool. So what I did, there's only one showing, it doesn't nothing looks different, but I took that code, threw it into a variable, and I called that variable once. Look how easy it is now to have multiple instances of that one code. Oh my gosh, cool. Oh, and look, I decided that I did style it wrong. Look, I, need, I really need some, I need some margin on the bottom um, of each of these ally elements. They look stupid butted up to, against each other like that. Uh, so I want, oops, 10 pixels. Oh, now they look so wonderful. But let's say, I'm thinking about it, looking at it again, and I decide I want uh, every other one to, what, every other one to, to be a different color. Okay, here's what I want. I want every other one uh, dot text container to float right. Yes. Um, and the image too. Yeah. And then text on there. This looks silly, I know, but like the point is. Oh, and then on that span, I like space between each declaration. And on that span, we can um, pull out that margin left that I had, or was it margin right? Uh, zero pixels, and put it back. Margin left. Yeah, now that looks a lot better, except for the text container. Text container. Hmm. What's a smart way to have only that text container there? Here's what I would do. Uh, no, I don't know what I'm doing. Here's a quick way to do it. Let's write the selector again, but only have one of them. What do I want to do? Oh yeah, margin right. 10 pixels. Yeah, now it looks good. But this list is way too wide. It could be like 500. There we go. I don't know, maybe like over here there's like a checkbox or something if you're whatever anyway the point is that like look at how many of these instances of this thing that I can look at inside oh to in a group yeah they definitely should be styled differently and I can make decisions like that seeing them all in a group and if I want to change anything I can just run up to this variable and say oh you know what it's actually all over age 25 and they all quickly change just like that so that is how code kit works with variables. Very cool, very useful, and I think I've run out of time. Thanks for tuning in again. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments, and please subscribe to the channel. I guess I'm doing five of these tonight, and I'm going to release them once every, other, every, once every day this week, and uh, you can subscribe and get them in your feed every day, and then have a video, a new video every Monday. Usually a lot more loud than this. Kids are sleeping right now. Don't be so picky. Talk to you soon.